We woke to a bright September day full of promise. All across the country, we were taking kids to school, going to work, having coffee with friends. And then the phone calls began. Oh my God, a plane hit the World Trade Center? How could that happen? Are you watching this? Turn on your TV. And a morning that began so sunny and bright was the beginning of America's darkest hours. We watched in disbelief at the flames from the North Tower shooting into the sky, the air filling with smoke, and then Flight 175 flies full force into the second tower. The city's bravest and finest running towards danger to help save those fleeing from it. Images that can never be erased from memory, pictures that will never be lost to time. There's confusion and chaos, and every passing minute brings a new tragedy. A third jet veers into DC airspace at ground level, exploding in the nerve center of our national defense, killing over 200 people. Heroes in uniform and civilian workers rush to the rescue, leading thousands to safety and evacuating children in the Pentagon daycare center. Over 100 miles away in the sky over Pennsylvania, passengers on flight 93 call their loved ones to say goodbye and then launch a courageous attack to regain control of the plane. It plunges into an isolated field in Shanksville. But the sacrifice of those on board that day saves countless lives in our nation's capital. Then, as thousands watch from the streets and tens of millions watch at home, the South Tower collapses. One hundred and two minutes after the first attack, the North Tower falls. In less than two hours, almost 3,000 human souls were lost. They were moms and dads, sons and daughters, senior citizens with fond memories of days past, and young people with dreams of tomorrow. And it didn't matter their color or religion, who they were or where they were from, for on that day, they all were our brothers and sisters. At Manhattan's Engine Company 55, where I worked for a few years, the guys I served with each knew 20 to 30 firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice. 5,000 children lost a parent that day. 5,000. 880 of them were firefighters' kids. In the hours that followed, we did more than mourn. Our grief and anger were the catalyst to bring Americans together, doing whatever we could to help, donating blood, giving comfort to friends and to strangers alike, searching for survivors. But there were so few to find. As day turned into night that September 11th, 20 years ago, a skyline and a nation were forever changed but the fires that burned help forge a spirit of unity. From the dust and debris, heroes arose. And the memorials that stand today on those hallowed grounds remind us of the promises we made to those we lost and to their families that we will never forget.